But the National Energy Board released a new report that aims to clarify things. It says the retail price of gas is based on four factors. There's the price of crude oil, the refining margins, the marketing margins, and taxes. And also a quick footnote, all these figures are based on prices in Vancouver from back in April. First up, crude oil. That's the cost of oil before it's refined. We paid around 51 cents a liter. Now that's actually 10% lower than the Canadian average. So we can cross that one off the list. It's not the cause. Next up, the refining margin. The cost of turning crude oil into gasoline. This margin was around 52 cents a liter, roughly double the Canadian average. That means you paid 26 cents more a liter. So this is definitely part of the problem. Now on to the marketing margin. These are the costs associated with selling gas to drivers like you and me. And brace yourself, the difference in the margin is quite high. So we paid on average 10.5 cents a liter, and that's actually almost 69% higher than the average in the rest of the country. So that's another seven cents added. And finally, we get the dreaded T word, taxes. Now we pay these to the federal, provincial, and even municipal governments. Think the carbon tax or the provincial motor fuel tax. Now in Vancouver, the tax portion of the retail price of gas that we paid was about 54 cents a liter. On average, that's 21% higher than elsewhere. Okay, the fun part, math time. So that's 26 cents plus 11 cents plus 7 cents, meaning on average, we spend around 44 cents more per liter. Now, will any of this information actually help lower the prices? Not really, but at least now you know. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.